Hello, my name is Terry Dean Nemers, and I'm a malicious prosecution victim. On uh, July 6, 2011, I was maliciously arrested by the thugs down here in lawless Polk County, Minnesota, for engaging in the legal act, not illegal act, of filing a criminal complaint and filming a criminal complaint. All right? And now today is August 21st, August 21st, 2011, and I'm going to give you an update on this malicious prosecution that's going on. Okay, as you know, or may not know, uh, on August 15th, 2011, I had a kangaroo court hearing down here in Lawless, Polk County, Minnesota, and uh, we had a change of judges, went from kangaroo court judge with a vested interest uh, to another kangaroo court judge with another vested interest, went from kangaroo court Judge Staffshell to Kangaroo Court Glazard. All right. And also, you may remember that uh, this was the original evidence, supposed evidence disc that was given to me by the by the uh, crooks, down, crooks down there at the Lawless Pope County County Attorney's Office. Okay. And then when I made a big stink about the fact that uh, two of the videos out of the nine didn't work, lo and behold, Tim Roth from the Lawless Pope County. Uh, attorney's office. He's the assistant Pope County attorney. Neil Nelson's the head crook down there. Uh, brought me this disc, claiming it was the same one, which of course it wasn't. Okay, I showed you that in the previous video. All right. Now it's the 21st of August, and uh, it's been so that's uh, five, 15 minus 20 is six days, right? Okay. So you would think that they would have. You know, uh, I would have received a notice in the mail about it, another hearing. All right, and I'm going to show you at the end of this video the difference between my case and a, and a high-profile case um, prosecuted by Chad the Felon Larson, the former uh, lawless assistant Polk County attorney. And you probably remember he's the guy who sent me the weapon in the Todd County Jail, which is a felony, five years in prison, which was covered up by Gerald Seibel the Stevens County judge, and where is Glazard from? Yeah, Stevens County. He's the former county attorney. Remember, so it's the, that's how, what his vested interest is, because I've reported this crime to numerous law enforcement agencies in Glenwood and Alexandria, St. Cloud, uh, Painesville, all right? So obviously he knows about it because that's law enforcement's job is to report criminal activity. So obviously he knows about this and he's covering this up also. Anyhow, um, back to the hearing. Uh, you'll see on, I, I go through the court transcripts, that in cases where they want you to show up, it actually shows where they've scheduled a conference hearing, or scheduled, scheduled the next um, hearing. All right? It'll show right on the, on the transcript right there that you've been notified so people can show up. See? But on that, and it shows that, that the that the hearing's been held also. All right? If you go to my website at lionnews00.blogspot.com, you'll see the link there to take you right to the, to the Mo, uh, Minnesota Public Access uh, Remote, which you can watch, look up my case. And I give you the case number right there also. All right? And if you go there, you'll see that there is no, you know, schedule. You, you can't tell that they've scheduled for none of the hearing. You can't tell that this August 15th one was held or not. See, it should say, result, held. Okay, it should schedule the next hearing on there. See, I haven't received anything in the mail. And why? Because they want it to come as a surprise. Okay, maybe it's on Friday. I don't know. And I don't know when they're planning on having it. But they aren't going to let me know ahead of time so I can tell you to show up. Because remember, they don't want you showing up. See, if you have two or three weeks or a month or whatever to to know it's coming, then you could plan ahead. You could get time off of work. You could plan a, a babysitter. You could plan, you know, for travel time to show up here. Maybe, uh, you know, get a hotel room or something like that. See, they don't want you to do that. They want it to be spur of the moment. See? So you don't show up because the guy who did show up the last time got a very good education. And the individual showed up the time before. That was Dave Lauer. He got an education. All right, they don't want people showing up, so 
I, I teach them how to handle these kangaroo courts, which are courts that violate your rights and which have, you know, a uh, an agenda to uh, shove their criminal activity down your throat. See, I teach you how to handle that, and they don't want you learning my techniques, because you know a whole bunch of people are saying, "Oh, you're going to go to jail." <laughs> I'm not going to jail, because I know what the law is. I know what I can say, and I know what I can't say. See, and again, like I said, Luke 21:15 says he's going to give me the he's going to be the guardian of my mouth so i'm not worried about what i'm going to say all they need to worry about is that i'm going to show up or i'm going to bring someone else to teach there and they don't want that see because remember the last time we brought up this little problem here see they didn't like that being brought up and of course again i brought up the vested interest of the county of the neil nelson because remember, he's been notified of the assault of John Staff Schultz's wife, and he covered up, didn't he? See? And what happened to case number 20101745? All embarrassing questions they don't want to answer. See? But I keep bringing them up all the time. And the fact that the they have a history of lying, perjury. See? Remember? What happened to the warrant? Broke into my house without a warrant. Got on the witness stand and said they had a warrant. Now they say they didn't need a warrant? Well, geez, you shouldn't have got on the witness stand and, and committed perjury then, should you? You shouldn't have signed a probable cause statement, you know, saying that you had a warrant when you didn't, right? See, those details. So, again, that's the thing. They don't like the, the fact that I keep bringing these embarrassing facts up. See, again, malicious prosecution of 2009. Alrighty. Because who was involved in that? The former sheriff. See, we keep bringing these characters back from the past. The past keeps on haunting them. All these skeletons out of their closet. See? And that's what I keep doing in every single hearing. I keep bringing up the embarrassing past. See? So I just show again and again that there's two sets of laws. One for the crooks and one for everyone else. See? So... Again, you're going to get some numbers, give these people a call. Ask them what's going on. Ask them these embarrassing questions. When they don't answer, you know they're invoking their right to remain silent because anything they say can and will be used against them in a court of law. Okay, thank you for your time. Sunday, August 21st, 2011. Okay, uh, here is my website, lionnews00.blogspot.com. And you can see the case number of my malicious prosecution here, 61-CR-11-37. And all you have to do is click on this, and you'll go to the Minnesota Trial Court Public Access Remote View, the MPA remote. And all you have to do is plug in these numbers in the, in the court case, and you'll be able to see my uh, uh, scheduling. All right? Now you can see by my website, the last hearing I've been notified is Monday, August 15th at 3 p.m. Okay? Again, it's August 21st, not the 15th. Okay? Now I'm going to click on my, my, ske or my uh, transcript here or record or whatever. And you can see August 15th, 2011, right here. Initial appearance, Rule 8, 3 p.m., Judicial Officer, Judicial Officer, Glazerud Charles, all right. It says that exists, all right. Does it say it um, was held, wasn't held? Okay, let's compare it to another case. Okay, here's Jonathan Patrick Benson. It's a famous case around here, uh, and who's prosecuting it? Chad the Felon Larson. Yep. Okay. Now, so you see, this thing's been reset. Okay, here's they've been changing the dates on them. All right. So there's activity here, all right? So it shows that they've been these things have been scheduled. Shows the result held, all right? Do you see result held? No. Do you see that it was scheduled? No. Okay. One. They want everyone to show up. This one they don't want you to show up. That's why it's the 21st already, and I haven't been notified when when is my next hearing, all right? clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence that they do not want you to show up at my hearings. All right? 